Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom, I'm a makeup artist from London. It has been a really long time since I've recorded you guys a video and I'm so, so sorry for that, but I have been crazy, absolutely flat out. Um, things have really heated back up in the industry, so I've just been working back to back every minute I can of every single day. However, I got sent some products in the post. This is from Primark Beauty, which is PS Pro. Um, I don't know who sent me these. I don't know that I know someone there, but I'm very grateful um, because I did have some requests to do some more affordable makeup and I thought I would give it their bases a try. Um, I'm wearing a fairly heavy eye today just because the weather's kind of changed in London now. I'm feeling it's a bit more autumnal, so I thought I'd go for that sort of autumnal eye. So if you'd like to see how these products work out, keep on watching. In terms of foundations, they sent me two. One is the Longwear Natural Luminous Serum Foundation, which the texture on my hand feels great, but the lightest shade they sent me was 300 and something, which is really, really tan. Um, they do have a Radiant Matte Foundation, which again, because it's radiant, I feel like might suit me because I do have dry skin, um, but this is also too dark for me. I am going to use it and just take it down my neck. Um, you're just gonna have to imagine that this is a shade that suits me. Okay, so this is my first time ever trying it on my face. I think as you can see, the shade is a little bit too dark, but it does look nice and luminous. I'm gonna just grab a little mirror as well because I think I do need to see close up. Yeah, it's super tan but it's spreading really nicely and actually not gathering in any of my pores, which is unusual for a more matte foundation. Um, I'm wearing the normal skincare that I do every single day, um, so nothing is, nothing is changing there. Uh, I've got a few breakouts on my chin, so I imagine, let's see the coverage of it. It's actually really nice. Wow, I was not expecting that. Um, very blendable, smooth, hmm. Yeah, it's funny actually seeing myself in this sort of like shade. It's very, very dark. Um, but let's say if you fake tanned, this could be a good shade for you. What is it? Number, where is it on the bottle? I think maybe on the lid. It's 222 Neutral. Probably not a neutral shade, um, realistically in terms of colour for me. It's more of a warm tone, but um, hey. I'm also trying out some new lighting, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, I relied for a while on actually daylight so that you could see um, everything slightly more clearly, but obviously as we get into autumn and winter in the UK, there's much less daylight available. Um, and it also limited sort of the times that I could record a video. So I have some panel lights on. I know it's a lot stronger, so it might not directly translate um, products as well as possible, but I hope that um, sort of, you'll take my word for when I say a product looks actually really good on the skin or if it doesn't. Wow, I'm actually so impressed with this, I can't, I really can't fault it. And I am not like a matte skin person. Okay, I've actually decided just for a second to turn off two of the panel lights because they were giving a lot of sort of kickback and making everything look really, really bright and maybe uh, washing out a little bit. Can we talk about the texture of this? This is performing like a high-end foundation. It looks amazing on my skin. It says the product is um, medium buildable. This is a solid medium to me. The coverage looks absolutely incredible. My skin doesn't look matte or dried. It does look like I've got a natural sort of sheer glow on the skin. You can definitely tell I'm wearing foundation, but not in like, I don't know how to describe it, not in like an ugly way. The colour is obviously not for me, <laughs> um, but it looks amazing. I can't get over this. Um, oh my god, it's also vegan. Jesus Christ, this is this is really good. Back with the intense lights, it only looks even better. Like, I can't even get over how gorgeous my skin looks. I mean, you can kind of see where it's not exactly the right colour, like those bits of patchiness poking through. Um, maybe I'll pop a little bit more on. It says buildable, but I don't think I want to build it anymore. Um, I think this looks really, really good. I'm actually like gobsmacked at this. Like, I really, really wasn't expecting to like this. Like, it's from Primark. Like, wow. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with a concealer. They sent me this one, which is the Brightening Radiant Under Eye. I guess anything that I hear like radiant, I'm immediately drawn to because of my dry skin. 
it says it's a uh, blendable coverage weightless and traceless so let's see they did luckily send me a much um brighter shade um so i can do under the eyes but actually the foundation has covered all of my blemishes on my chin so i feel great about that and one other thing that I wanted to say about the foundation is that I had a beauty blender at the ready because I just figured that with a matte foundation, certainly one that's on the cheaper end of the spectrum, it would be really cakey and heavy on my skin. I've not had to use the beauty blender at all. It's literally blended out perfectly with a brush. So I'm just doing a little bit under the eyes. This is in um, a cool shade. What is it? One... Oh, yeah. I hate that the shades are on the top here because the sticker will go, but it's one, two, one, cool. Um, coverage looks good so far. I'm like, should I use my fingers, maybe? No, I'm going to use a brush. You guys would probably use a brush too, right? Let's just pat it in. I mean, it looks very sort of sheeny now, so maybe I should like let it matte down a bit but for coverage, but let's just do it. Let's just blend it in. See if it works well with the foundation, which you should hope it would. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, what is happening? Uh, <laughs> how have I found like one of the best concealers ever for my skin from Primark? Like I have the driest under eyes and this looks, it's gorgeous. What the hell? It is blending out so smoothly. Like. I don't know what to tell you, like, this is, for me, personally, I find it really, really hard to find under eye concealers, like, I can almost never use anything, but this is, wow, okay, I think I could actually use this day to day, this is, like, almost actually scaring me, um, my skin looks, wow, let me just see how I look on the monitor, because I want to see that, yep, looks bloody great, <laughs> I'm going to do some more brightening in the centre of my face just because I feel like this can only go well um, now. Let's do a bit on the chin, a little bit down here. Because it is a more sort of like full on look, I feel. Um, just with having more coverage than I naturally would. Oh, this is making me want to do like such a glam, like, well, I guess I already have done kind of glam eyes, but I want to like put on like loads of contour. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, I feel great about this. I obviously don't know how, how well this would wear, like, in terms of longevity. Um, that is something that remains to be seen. And unfortunately, like, I literally have stuff to do today and I feel like I can't, I can't really wear, like, such a full look for my day, especially because this colour is so wrong for me. Um, but I would actually go and buy this <laughs> in the shop in my own colour because... I mean, hopefully this is translating on camera, but it's amazing. Okay, so I've come back. I've done a little bit of um, bronzer, a little bit of blush. I've also put on a lip. Wow, this looks amazing. It's super, super shiny. So I am going to go in with some powder, but I really, really like where it's at. Now, the product is called Radiant Matte. Now, I don't know how matte I think that is, realistically, um, because it is very, very shiny, but I'm okay with it. The powder I'm going to go for is the Matte Finishing and Setting Powder. There is a um, foundation powder, but I think that feels just too heavy for my skin and I don't need it. All I want to do is take away the shine from the centre of my face. So this one's in 111 Light. I'm just going to load it up. You know I don't love powder, but I think this is actually something that is too shiny for me, even for me. So down the centre panel here, just to take away the excess. Okay, so that's the matte finishing and setting powder. I find that with powders, like these sort of pressed powders, they're kind of all much of a muchness to me. Every single day I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I think it's fabulous in the translucent shade. This has done a really good job of just matting down the centre panel of my face, so I feel like I still maintain the sheen on the cheek, but I kind of blur my pores a little bit better in the centre, and it feels like it's not going to go anywhere. I feel like this is the kind of foundation that would transfer a teeny bit and could benefit from being sort of set all over, um, but I just don't really want to do that because my face doesn't like too much powder. Okay, let's talk final thoughts. I think you may have gathered already by now that I'm in love with this. <laughs> I think I look incredible. It's definitely not something I might wear on the day to day because I, you know me, I really like very, very minimal natural color coverage. So I don't put a lot of um, makeup on like, to go out in the daytime, I just conceal and go. I will definitely use this concealer under my eyes, I think, on the daily. Like, I haven't tried a new concealer, like, under my eyes 
for ages. Certainly not one that I've liked. So the Radiant Under Eye Concealer, just in terms of like the shade was good for me. And also like it's not creasing even when set. It's just, it's juicy. It feels juicy and like really hydrating, which is what I need. But often those hydrating ones sink into fine lines. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, this is a fairly full on look in terms of like the heavy eye, but something autumnal, it's nice to wear. Oh my God, who would have thought that this is how it was going to be? So it's an absolute yes for me on the Longwear Radiant Matte Foundation from PS Pro. I would love to see what the serum foundation is like. Um, I'm going to go in and, oh God, I hate going into like Primark shops because they're so busy, but I will go in and try and find a shade that actually suits me to see how this could be because this could be an amazing every day. Um, the powder, I just find powders are all the same. They're not all the same, but... It didn't feel chunky, it's not too thick. I would use this. Um, wow, amazing. Let me know what you think. Tell me how you feel this is on my skin. Do you think this looks good? Do you think it is, you know, enhancing for me or am I just kidding myself? Um, I know there's a lot of light here, um, but I've taken this off, you know, I've walked off and looked at myself by the window and I still think it looks really, really good. If there are any other sort of drugstore or high street brands that you want me to review in terms of foundation, please do let me know. Um, I do have really, really tricky skin because it's so dry, but I'm willing to give things a go for you. Uh, pop any comments that you have down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, I will see you again. Bye guys.